part, we are looking at infinite one-sided limits or the unbounded one-sided limits. Note that if a limit is indicated to be positive infinity or negative infinity, then it does not exist or use the short term B and E. These symbols are used only to indicate the direction of unboundedness. The first case, positive infinity limits. The limit of the function f of x as x approaches a from the left equals positive infinity. We can see in a graphical way as as x approaches a from the left side, the y approaching positive infinity. So that's the direction of the graph it's going up there as unbounded. And the next part here, as x approaches a from the right, the y approaching positive infinity. The next case, negative infinity limits. In this case, for the left-sided limit, as x approaches a from the left, the y value approaching negative infinity. Another part, as x approaches a positive or the right side limit, the y or the function approaching negative infinity or the graph is going down all the way down to the negative infinity. Now look at the example using the graph to find the following limits. The graph of the function is provided. Uh, in part A, limit x approaches 3 from the left. We target the value 3, but from the left side of the function, where is the value 3 of the x? 3 is right there, so this is 3. And from the left side, from the left side, the graph on the left side of the three, along with the middle piece of the graph here, approaching positive infinity. So then the answer for this part is positive infinity. And the second part of part B, as x approaches negative three, look at negative three. Negative three is right here. From the right side, so coming from the right and on the graph, or the function, the graph approaching to that value, which is very close to the value six. Let's say it's probably 5.6 or 5. It's about 5.6. That's the answer. But if I add another problem, so in part C, let's see if you look for the limit of the function as x approaches negative one from positive side, where is negative one? Negative one is right here. And from the right side, the graph approaching all the way down, which is negative infinity. So the answer for this is negative infinity.